The U.S. Military Working Dog Team's National Monument Dedication Ceremony was held October 28th at Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. And we dedicate this memorial to military working dogs and their human partners of all services and all eras. And this day is about them and not us. This is a fitting memorial in a fitting place, and I'm proud to be here to help dedicate it. JBSA Lackland is the home to the Department of Defense Military Working Dog Program and is where the U.S. Armed Forces has been training its military working dog teams since 1958. It is the world's largest training center for military dogs and handlers, and is also home to the largest veterinary hospital for military working dogs. The U.S. Military Working Dog Team's National Monument's main granite pedestal features the U.S. military's four prominent working dog breeds since World War II. Doberman Pinscher, German Shepherd, Labrador Retriever, and Belgian Malinois. On behalf of the 502nd Air Base Wing, Joint Base San Antonio, as the commander, I accept this gift on behalf of Joint Base San Antonio Lackland and the incredible military members and the working dogs who have provided the critical combat support capability that these teams have since World War II. The nine-foot-tall bronze dog handler represents all dog handlers of all branches of the U.S. Armed Forces that served during World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and the War on Terror. It's really over the top. It's awesome. It's huge. Um, and it really shows you each breed of dog that was used and what they were used for and what wars they were used in. So it's, it's really awesome. Another significant design feature is the Not Forgotten Fountain, a fully functional bronze dog and handler water fountain that epitomizes the bond between dog and handler. From the 502nd Air Base Wing Public Affairs Office, I'm Tony Hurst.